In 2020, a pipeline carrying carbon dioxide ruptured in Mississippi. The plume of toxic waste forced hundreds to evacuate and sent 50 people to the hospital with dizziness, seizures, some even foaming at the mouth. First responders said it was like a zombie movie. 911. Oh, she's laying on the ground and she's shaking. She's kind of drooling out of the mouth. I don't know if she's having a seizure or not. Tell me exactly what had happened. Like, I was driving and I ran into like a lot of fumes. Like, it's a lot of noise going on because I didn't know if anything was going to explode. I don't know what's going on. Months later, victims still complained of symptoms, including stomach and lung issues and even brain fog. Right now, across the Midwest, there are at least four proposed carbon pipelines seeking eminent domain to force their private projects onto farmers and our communities. But landowners are fighting back. We're forming legal co-ops called easement teams to fight eminent domain, to end easements that take our land forever, and to stop the risks of these carbon pipelines. We're putting power back in the hands of landowners. Carbon pipelines are all risk and no reward. Learn more at easementllc.org.